Yeah, so we're going through uh, Hulik, uh, which is Heavy Weapons Leadership Course. Over the last two weeks, we conducted multiple different lesson plans and programs of instruction to help develop versatile, adaptive, and efficient leaders in the modern large-scale combat operational theater. We trained on the M41 Improved Target Acquisition System. Troopers right. Nice. Nice hit. Uh, we've been going through the like every single heavy weapon system, like the ITAS, the Javelin, the Carl G. Um, it's been a lot of studying, uh, for sure. Like late nights, studying, keeping up with friends, making sure. Uh, right before we take the test, we like to quiz each other. Um, minimum score you can get on there is a 70%. We've been scoring over 90, so we're actually studying pretty effectively. Yeah, so I'm stationed with Destin Company, 2503rd Infantry, uh, down in Vicenza, Italy. We're part of the 173rd Airborne Brigade. Uh, myself and four other guys from my company came up here to Grafenbeer to come up and do the heavy weapons leader course, learn about heavy weapons, how to employ them, uh, and how really to provide the battalion with effective firepower from our heavy weapons company. Today we had a we had a fun range day. We went out here, we shot the Mark 19, shot the Carl G, shot the 50 Cal. I uh, just put some rounds on targets, and then we trained our leaders too, so we can adjust the uh, impacts, adjust the weapons onto target, make sure we can actually get some lethal and effective fires. Why not? My personal favorite was the Carl G because there's a lot you can do with that weapon. And it's pretty light compared to like the Javelin or something. It has similar capabilities. Uh, so this week we've been doing a lot of simulator and live fires as we did today. Uh, so it was really just putting the practical knowledge to use that we learned over the past week uh, during the first part of our, our course. So effective ranges of the weapons, uh, when we should engage the, the fundamentals of uh, using heavy weapons. So making sure we're in defilade, making sure we've got uh, simultaneous fires, all, all the little nitty-gritty details that they don't really teach you uh, when you first get to a unit. Everyone did great. Everyone in the entire course did great. A lot of good group of students here, and I think the unit's going to be in a much better place with them having come to this course and taking what they've learned and be able to bring it back and start to train their subordinates and be able to advise their commanders and their platoon leaders on the battlefield. Nice.